As an equity analyst at JP Morgan, my job was simple. Build financial models to figure out if the stock is a buy or a sell. But what's behind those recommendations? It's hours of modeling, analyzing and forecasting. Hi, I'm Dheeraj Vaid, the co-founder of Wall Street Mojo and today I'll show you what exactly financial modeling is all about. Let's dive in. Before we deep dive into what is financial modeling, let's assume that you work as an associate at an equity research firm, say for example, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley City Group. Now, your senior analyst has approached you and asked you to do a thorough analysis about this company that is McDonald's. And the job is to do all the financial analysis as much as you can and come up with a buy or a sell recommendation. So what will be your starting point? Obviously, the starting point will be to go through the annual reports, right? Here in this case, you see McDonald's. And when it comes to the annual reports, you'll find that there's a complete details about McDonald's as such, as in, in terms of what the business is, what's the strategic outlook looks like, what does the financials look like in terms of income statement, balance sheets and cash flows, and what do they foresee in terms of risk factors, etc. So all of these details are completely available within the annual report. Now. The thing is that this is one of the annual reports, right? And then when it comes to doing a thorough analysis, we're expected to at least go into five years of historical data and figure out how the company has been doing historically. And when it comes to figuring out whether the stock is a buy or a sell recommendation, you know, you will have to also look at how this company is going to perform in the future. So when it comes to so much of data, like 95 pages of one single annual report and uh, across five years and uh, you know you will have a lot of information coming from press releases to conference call transcripts management talking about all of the acquisitions etc so so much of information is staggered around different places so how do you consolidate everything and make sense in a very simplified way the answer lies in financial modeling so let us have a look at the financial model of McDonald's. So the idea of a financial model is to assimilate all the information, that is the financial information in a consolidated Excel sheet. And based on your analysis of the historicals, try to make a guess about its future. And if you have that view, you'll be able to come to an understanding of whether McDonald's stock should be a buy or a sell. And it will become clearer when I explain you this model in a bit. So. Here you can see that there are different financial statements like the income statement, balance sheets and cash flows and then there are supporting schedules as well. So let me go to the income statement first and as you can see here, there are two sections. One is the historical and the other part is the forecast. So as a first step, what you do is assimilate everything from the annual reports, put that in the Excel sheet in a very neat format like the way it is here and do all the analysis as much as you can, like figuring out what the margins are, what are the types of segments, do the ratio analysis. Once you're done with the thorough analysis of the historicals, based on what you get in terms of hardcore numbers, you can make an estimate of how they will be look or they will look like in the future, right? So with that in mind, you start predicting the future as well. So you can see here that the revenue for the historicals were here and then you started predicting the future revenues, right? As if you have a magic wand and you know how it is going to perform. And that's the beauty of this financial model that you do it in a such a thorough way that you're able to actually predict what's going to happen in the future for these companies. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of guesswork that goes on here, but the idea here is, is to understand the company in totality. So we do this not just for the income statement, but also for the balance sheets. As you can see here, you figure out how the balance sheet will look like for the next five year period and obviously for the cash flows as well. And in order to create all of this, there is a very systematic approach of doing that. You make use of different schedules, like the revenue built up schedule where you finally go very granular, much more detailed, as much as you can with the information that you have from the annual reports and figuring out how many segments are there, do the ratio analysis, do the growth analysis based on what you understand, make the forecast of each of these segments, Likewise, you do the same for the cost, 
you forecast the working capital, depreciation, amortization, and everything as much as possible. Now, let us look at another financial model that is Coinbase IPO model. Or for that matter, you can replace it with any other IPO. So, the idea here is that when it comes to IPO investments, should you invest in that IPO or not, that decision can come out of this financial model. So, the way uh, the approach remains the same. You go through the reports which have been shared by the company to create the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flows and then essentially after understanding the historicals you do the forecast and with the eventual objective of figuring out what is the valuation or the fair valuation of the company so please understand that when it comes to the valuation it's more forward looking like for example you would like to look at the future how the future financials would look like and based on that you're basically coming up with the valuation of the company and there are different techniques like the dcf the discounted cash flow or maybe you can apply relative valuations where you can compare the company with different competitive peers and um, you can use different valuation tools to figure out whether the company is a buy or a sell. So all of this is typically done in a financial model. And in fact, when it comes to financial modeling, there are different types of financial models as well. So, you know, you can go advanced in this uh, topic too, but uh, there are few variations like there's a merger modeling like for example you know there are two companies that are merging okay so in order to understand whether the merger is good for the companies or not you can create a financial model so here again we apply the financial modeling techniques that is we understand the historical of the acquirer and the target and then we forecast the uh, you know financials of the company like the income statement and the balance sheet and then when we combine the word that is used is basically the pro forma right so pro forma income statement we figure out how it will look like and we understand all the scenarios like what are the possible cost savings what are the revenue generating opportunities and all of these uh, are coming via synergies so with financial model we are trying to understand how the combined entity will look like in the future right and with the help of that we come up with our final set of recommendation as in how this acquisition should get financed so 60 percent cash or 40 percent stock and uh, otherwise you can create different scenarios so again this is a different type of financial model because you're trying to combine two entities and then making a combined projections for the same and uh, you're also figuring out how the overall acquisition should get financed so kind of advanced but yes it borrows the same financial modeling principles as we saw earlier from mcdonald's or coinbase lastly i would like to highlight that if you are thinking of making a career in finance then learning financial modeling is not an option anymore you must learn financial modeling and master it and i have two most important resources for you to refer Number one is that you can go to this website, wallstreetmojo.com, which we have created with so much of love. We being a research analyst working at uh, JP Morgan, CLSA, etc. And we have created this massive library of, uh, you know, finance concepts, including financial modeling. And uh, if you go here, you'll find all the resources that is needed for you to learn this skills. So as I was discussing about, you know, different uh, ways to create financial model here, we have taken an example of of Colgate and you can download the model and learn how to go about you know doing it like populating the historicals to projecting the financials etc you can refer to all the resources in the guides which are there on the left hand side right in fact we have shared with you a lot of uh, models as well Alibaba IPO, Corsair IPO, Box IPO you know you have relevant and practical examples to look at on this free resource and number two is that if you want to learn this professionally then uh, i have uh, created this course on financial modeling and valuation and this is basically uh, 25 hours of video tutorials step by step and uh, we have taken the same case study mcdonald's so here again we start from scratch we download the annual reports of mcdonald's and uh, again do the historical analysis that the way I had explained you and then do the projections so financial modeling typically is a very step-by-step -step process and it has to be done in a systematic fashion so we teach you that in this course in just 25 hours so with all my experience around teaching and uh, you know being a research analyst it has all culminated into this course Please note that I have put the resources link in the description box below so that you can refer to them at ease. And uh, I hope you understood what financial modeling is in a very intuitive way. Don't forget to like, subscribe and 
Stay tuned for more insights in our financial modeling mojo series.